Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Um, I want to talk to you guys about my Invisalign journey. I wasn't going to do a video on it and then my boyfriend was like to me, I think it'd be really cool if you did a video talking about your Invisalign journey and why you did it and does it hurt, how much does it cost, where you're going and all the steps um, to take and all that good stuff. So I thought, you know what, why not? Like, let me just do a video. I've written some notes on my my phone just to kind of prompt me like I've written down some questions um, that I want to answer for you guys so that I don't forget anything so if I'm looking down on my phone it's because I have the questions here but sit back relax and let's get into this video right now Okay, so the first question that I have written down is what prompted me to get Invisalign? Basically, I suffer from overcrowding on my bottom teeth. Um, it's something that's hereditary. I get I get it from my mom. Like my mom has the same teeth as me. So the second question is who am I doing my Invisalign with? And I'm actually doing it with the same company that my best friend did her Invisalign with, which is this company called Sensu, and they use the actual Invisalign company. I think Invisalign is a company by themselves, and you can go to Invisalign directly and get your teeth done. So what's included in my package is 14 aligners, and oh yeah, I got the Invisalign light. So the Invisalign light is originally 3,000 pounds. With the discount, it came down to 2007. Then you put a 500 pound deposit down, and then you pay for it monthly. So, the package that I have, I only get 14 aligners. Once those 14 aligners have like ended, I think they give you like one or two in case you need them. But if you need more aligners, you do have to pay for those separately. Even though initially I went there say, thinking, oh, I want the 3000 um, pounds deal. You do have to go to the consultation and they have a look at your teeth. They do scans and they take images of your teeth and then they tell you which package that they will recommend. So I could have gone there and they, and they could have said to me, okay, we say you need the Invisalign comprehensive and I would have had to go with that because the dentist has to sign off on which package they feel is going to get you the results that you want. So what's included in my package is one hygiene session, which is something that I already had, um, post-treatment dental health check, one year aftercare, teeth contouring. So once all of my Invisalign is finished, they're gonna go ahead and contour my teeth to make sure everything is like rounded out or I don't know, file them down, I guess. I can get composite bonding if I want to, but that's just added cost and I think my teeth are fine. You do get a standard home teeth whitening kit so you get a teeth whitening kit that you take home with you and then you can use that at home and then you get two sets of um, retainers which you can wear at night time. So this package here which is the gold package it doesn't come with a fitted wire behind your teeth whereas the platinum package and the diamond package that one comes with the fixed um, the fixed wire behind your teeth but that costs 500 pounds extra so the next question i have is what was the process so like i said i went to my first initial consultation after actually after doing loads of research you know watching youtube videos speaking to friends i thought okay i want to do this i know i want to get um invisalign i'm finally going to do it i booked an appointment it was a free appointment or i think that you had to pay like 50 pounds but that 50 pounds came off of the final amount it was almost like a booking fee so if you didn't come to the appointment then you lose that 50 pounds but you got that money back anyway i went to this appointment and at this first appointment they took loads of scans of my teeth they, i told them what i wanted what my issue was they asked about your dental history and all of that good stuff i had terrible dental history like guys don't be like me after that first consultation I had to get my filling done. I had to get my dentist to kind of authorize that I can get this treatment done, that, you know, they're not, I don't really know what the letter was, but it was just to say that they've put in a new filling, that it's okay for me to get Invisalign. I then had a hygiene clean and polish, I think it was. She did the clean, she did the polish, she did all these other stuff, cleaned and put water in my mouth and whatever. 
and then she took another scan of um i think that was a 3d mold of my teeth so she took this 3d mold of my teeth and then the next appointment that i had and all of my appointments are every four weeks so all of this is happening every four weeks so every month you have to you have to wait a month to have a next appointment the next appointment that i went to after that appointment which i thought was going to be a much longer appointment but it turned out to be like five minutes was me authorizing my invisalign so they showed me this like 3d scan of how my teeth looks now and how my teeth will look afterwards and like a before and after basically they told me you know the process and what will happen signed that off and said okay i'm fine let's go ahead with invisalign then my next appointment after that I was absolutely gobsmacked because I didn't know that I would have been starting my Invisalign treatment. So I've gone to this next appointment. I think this is like my fourth appointment, I think. And the lady's like, yeah, you're getting your Invisalign. And she's given me this box right here. She's given me this box. And inside of this box are all of my trays, which I'll show you guys. And she also gave me this bag right here. I'm gonna show you guys this bag quickly. I'm um, just kind of show you what's inside. So it's this cute little black bag. And inside of this box, um, you have two things. I've taken them out because I use them, but you have this case right here. One of these, and you have your case, and you also get um, some cleaning crystals, but you only get three sachets of this, but then you can use salt water and warm water, not too hot because they are plastic, so you have to use lukewarm water to clean your Invisalign. So these two things came inside that box, and then she gave me this big, massive box. Like, honestly, guys, I was absolutely gobsmacked. I already had loads of bags on me, and then now they've given me all these other boxes boxes and things to carry it was not a good day when you get your um, Invisalign um, boxes all your trays kind of come like this inside the first tray which is this tray is the trays that has all your molds on them so oh uh, yeah so at that appointment along with giving me all of this she then put the little clips on my teeth they use this to kind of put it on it's weird they put like some gel or glue on your teeth and they put this in your mouth and it molds all around it kind of cool but anytime like one of these fall off can it because it can fall off you just have to bring this back with you to your dentist and they'll reattach the little clip thing for you so these are old invisalign i don't know if you guys can see but they're like super yellow because i've worn them already and in all of these boxes you have like week four week five week six week seven week eight and i have 14 invisaligns so these are my invisalign i'm going to put them in for you guys because i completely forgot to put them in just like that <laughs> and then what you have to do is you get this true thing and you have to screw down on this. I don't know why I was trying to talk while I doing that, but you get this little chewy thing. You have to chew down on that and that really tightens your Invisalign. And the woman said something else like it, it's meant to engage your teeth or I don't know, something like that she said. I can't fully remember, but that's what you get. You get those boxes, you get all of your aligners. So these are your whole aligners for your whole duration of your Invisalign treatment. At that appointment when I got given all my Invisalign trays, they also file down your teeth just to make space for when your teeth move. And I've got another appointment where they're gonna file down a few more teeth just so they can move even more. How long does it take? Um, so I have 14 aligners. Um, my first, from my first third to my third tray, I hope I'm not talking funny. My first to my third tray, I had to wear these for two weeks at a time. So I had to wear this for six weeks first for the first three trays. And then from tray four to, from tray four to tray 14, I just wear them one week at a time. So I've calculated that I'll be done with my Invisalign by June. So by June, my teeth should be straight and then I'll just pay that extra 500 pounds, 250 for the top, 250 for the bottom to get the wire put in. I'll tell you guys why I'm opting for the wire a little bit later on. Pain eating and weight loss so one of the things that i heard before getting invisalign was oh you lose a lot of weight because you have to wear your invisalign for 
22 to 23 hours a day um so there's only about an a one hour or two hour window where you can have them out and you take them out to eat so anytime you're having anything to eat or drink that is not water you have to take your invisalign's out um just so that they don't stain and so they don't get damaged because they are plastic so if you're not drinking water you have to take them out i've heard a lot of people say because of that they stop eating or you don't eat as much so if you're on a diet invisalign is great for you because honestly you won't eat a lot also the pain as well for me the first trays that I got put in it was super uncomfortable i was talking super weird i had a lisp and it felt really uncomfortable my mouth was salivating a lot another problem that i had as well was my lips was getting really 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 dry um i have i've had this problem up until now i still suffer from super dry lips and i'm literally putting carmix on my lip like every two seconds like i'm rubbing carmix or vaseline on my lips and i did a little bit of research and they said that that's because the moisture or the saliva from your mouth isn't getting to your lips so your lips are just getting really really dry so that's something that i suffered with um again like i said the first time that i did them they're very painful i had a bit of a headache they did hurt but now i'm so used to them that i don't they don't hurt as much only when i put a new tray in for that first for the first first day or the second day it does feel a bit uncomfortable and it does hurt a little bit but after that it's fine they do feel sore and tender like it's so weird the pain is like this undescribable pain it's like your teeth hurt i don't know how to explain that but your teeth literally hurt like your teeth literally hurt you and they feel super sensitive and really sore it's the weirdest sensation and you have to feel it to kind of know it the original price is three thousand pounds but like i said sensi always runs a deal where you they give you percentage off so mine was 2007 500 pounds deposit and then you pay monthly for that so i originally was like okay i'm just gonna wear the retainers i think if you decide not to get the wire put behind your teeth you get two sets of retainers and i think it's something like you have to wear the retainers all day long or all night time every single every single night for one year you have to wear the retainers and then after that it's like a couple of days a week but you will consistently have to wear these retainers to keep your teeth straight and i was like cool i'm gonna do that but then as i started to talk to other people who's done invisalign or have had braces in the past they told me that they wish they got the wire because now their teeth have shifted or their teeth has moved back because they forgot to wear their retainers or they stopped wearing their retainers and guys i know me i know me so well i'm not going to wear these retainers i'll forget i'll go to my boyfriend's house and i don't have them i won't wear them and it's just going to become a big problem so for me I'm paying all of this money now why not just put the wire there once you have the wire there your teeth stay straight you just wear the retainers if you want to but if you don't wear the retainers your teeth won't shift you just have to get the wires changed every few years and that's fine someone i spoke to he did have the wire and then he got them removed and he just wears retainers and he said to me that food was getting in, stuck in there it also made him have a little bit of a lisp and when you're like flossing you have to use like the bendy flosses and he didn't really like that so i guess it's just up to you and preferences but for me personally i have been to spend all this money for my teeth to shift back i'd be very annoyed and then to have to pay all this money again to get invisalign i am not a wasteful person so i'd rather just get the um wires put into my teeth wear the retainers when 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 i can and know that my teeth are going to stay straight so that kind of concludes this video i hope it wasn't too long and i hope it was informative and you guys kind of got enough information like i said if there's any other questions that you guys want them ask me down below i know i'm talking really weird now i've got my invisalign in this is one of the things that will happen to you is that your speech kind of changes your the way you um, salivate changes your lips like the moisture in your lips changes and even when you take them out as well like you still speak really weird or my mouth will produce these like little white bits like it's, it's a lot going on right now but i'm super excited like i said please like comment and subscribe and until my next video i'll see you guys then so bye